All right, but first up, again, it is a busy weekend with Halloween, uh, uh, you know, on Sunday, and Zach has got it all broken down for us on where we can go, what we can do. But first, mm -hmm. I understand you're going to make sure we're well fed, so that <laughs> way, uh, no matter where we're going, we can handle it. That's right. Good morning, ladies. I have to say this next spot in downtown St. Pete is serving up the largest baked potatoes you've ever seen. The half-baked potato is serving up three-pound baked potatoes with an entire meal on top. It's a meal and a half. <laughs> We love St. Pete. We love the area. There's a lot of places over here to get really fancy, healthy foods. Um, we're fat people. We, we, we're fat and we like to eat and honestly, we love baked potatoes. We came up with a bunch of different concepts on what uh, foods could go on top of them. It's an amazing concept. I, I love the food and I think you will too. Hey, this is Chelsea. Welcome to the Half Baked Potato. We're going to find the biggest potatoes you'll ever eat. The potatoes, we get them as big as you can possibly buy them. So we have the biggest potatoes in town like giant bigger than your head loaded baked potatoes you can't go wrong but we go through a thorough washing process seasoning process on them we bake them fresh every single morning actually multiple times a day to make sure we have enough for everybody you have your choice of over 25 different toppings on our menu that you can load up on your potato and something cool that we do is called baked smashed or mashed so you can have it on a standard baked potato a smashed potato which is basically like you take your potato and you kind of chop it up so all those ingredients seep in and get deep in those crevices and then, of course, your standard mashed potato. The half-baked potato is a culmination of 80s and 90s throwback vibes, stoner vibes, as well as some New Orleans flair thrown into it. You can find us in St. Petersburg, Florida, downtown. We are on the cross street of 16th and Central. So much food. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Finally, no offense to healthy, but I loved, loved, loved that line about, yeah, we've got the healthy food. This is not it. Yes, no. my place. Well, I love there's an 80s, 90s vibe because I was telling you as a kid, I remember go, like in the food court in the mall, the, the potato uh, restaurants there that would put stuff on top of it. I love it. I can't wait to go. It's a, it's a great spot and they have so many different toppings that you can do. So really there's uh, endless choices and uh, I could only finish about like not even half of it. It was literally so much food. So you're definitely taking some home. That's yeah, sure. I love it. Um, I love all right, well, let's get to everything going on for Halloween and you're going to start with family friendly first, which yes, I appreciate. Got to, got to. We got to start with the family friendly stuff and we're headed out to Fruitville Grove Pumpkin Festival. That's out there in Sarasota and it's free admission, $5 for parking. But if you still need to pick up that pumpkin, into car for Halloween weekend. This is the spot and uh, certainly a great place for the whole family. Certainly can't uh, go wrong with a festival all around pumpkins. Am I right? I no. Mean, you know, another place I keep seeing on social networking, but yeah. want to learn more about Harvest Moon Fun Farm. Yeah. Yeah. So this place is a lot of things for kids. You know, there's a maze that you can go to uh, and, you know, all types of uh, farm games and pumpkin patches. And really, it's just a great spot for the whole fam. And this is up going to be north of Tampa. So that's more closer to your neck of the woods. Uh, Masaryk Town is definitely a good spot to go to. And uh, you can get lost in the maze just like I did. Oh, and Hunsader Farms, that's more south, too, but that's a, a very similar. So I like that there's all over the Bay Area. I mean, there's literally um, a place for everybody. Yeah, this is down in Bradenton, so certainly another one down south. So if you're uh, near there, that's certainly a place to go check out. It's $12 for adults, free for kids, 10 and under, uh, $5 for parking. But, yeah, it's a it's a huge spot to, you know, space out and go check out some pumpkins and some mazes and some family fun. Like I said, pick your you can pick each one. It's all going to be a good time. So okay, let's go scary now, Zach. That's one right. last well, shout out for our. We're friends definitely going to go to the scariest place in Tampa Bay right off the bat. Scream again, right there in Dade City. Five haunted houses, including zombie paintball. Uh, guys, this is uh, certainly one who is uh, ready for a scream and a scare because uh, this place certainly will bring it. But that's up in Dade City, so make sure to take a little <laughs> drive by hour north of Tampa. It's certainly worth it. That's the closest to me, and I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> sure All right, this is pretty cool, though, and this speaks just Bay Area. No one else has this. Exactly. This is Undead in the Water. This is actually on the American Victory ship from uh, uh, World War II cargo ship. Really uh, unique spot there at Sparkman Wharf. And uh, certainly a, a different vibe to a haunted experience for Halloween. But you know what? That's what Tampa Bay has, variety. You know what? We're bringing the whole gamut. 
<laughs> hey, uh, speaking of variety, to another chance, last chance for Hollow Scream. We got to give another shout out to all the ghosts and goblins that are off in that place. Right there at Bush Gardens. I mean, can you go wrong with haunted houses and theme park rides? I mean, this is literally the best of both worlds. Uh, this, of course, all ends this weekend, October 31st. Halloween is Sunday, so make sure to check out any of these events this weekend because. Uh, this is it. This is the last yes. time you enjoy it until next. You can go wrong, Zach. You can go wrong. <laughs> that would that would be it. <laughs> Zach, so good to see you. Of course, go to the website for more details too.